Welcome back to licklibrary.com. I'm Dan Veal. I'm going to spend a couple of minutes telling you about my bass. I play a bit of a different instrument. Uh, it's a seven string, custom made for me by a guy in Sheffield called John Shuka. Now, it's not majorly different from a normal four or five string that you might find in your local shop. It's just got a couple of extra strings. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. The actual instrument itself, you've got the four strings in the middle here, your normal four string bass, your E, A, D, and G. You've got a low B, which makes it a five string bass, B, E, A, D, G. And to make it up to a six string bass, you've got a high C on here as well. Now, some seven string bass players tune to choose to go up a string, and they will add a high F string. But uh, this little monster has got a low F sharp string, so I'm going one down from a B. It's a very low note, and it's uh, more of a feeling than a sound when you're playing through a massive PA, which is great. The instrument has been designed by myself and John for my particular playing style. Um, I'm fairly fussy and at times rather lazy, so I do rely on some uh, clever little gadgets to kind of like get me through the set. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple of these down here on the body now. We've got uh, a ramp in here, and I got this idea from a few jazz players where they like to rest their fingers against the top of the pickup and play over the top of that. And uh, it just makes it a bit more comfortable and um, a bit smoother when you're playing. And I'm going to just demonstrate the difference between playing across the top of the ramp and off the top of the strings without anything underneath it to kind of like show you what I mean. If I play just a note on the open string with nothing underneath my fingers, I'm quite sloppy. To me it sounds a bit, I could probably get it a bit smoother. But if I play across the top of the ramp, my fingers are sliding right across the top of it. I think that sounds a lot smoother and I can get a lot more speed out of it as well. straight across the uh, strings to get a, a really good sort of speed and accuracy up. Um, another little thing I've got like, hidden away is um, underneath the back of the neck, I'm just going to flip the guitar over, a big scoop here so I can get right up above the 12th fret and it still feels nice and comfortable should I want to play a solo or something like that. Also on this bass, which is a little bit different from a normal four or a five string bass, the strings are a little bit closer together. The actual spacing is probably a bit too close for some people. You know, when it comes to slapping, you know, sometimes it can take your skin off a little bit, but you soon get used to it. But for speed and my kind of playing, it's, um, it feels pretty good. It is quite a big instrument. It is quite heavy as well. And um, a guy was saying earlier on, it looks a bit like a tree trunk. Um, I suspect there's probably enough wood on here to actually make a tree out of it anyway. Um, but um, I try to get as many of my favourite parts of different basses I've played over the years into one instrument, um, one which I can use all the time, and it really is a workhorse. It's not something which I just kind of like get out for um, being flashy or what have you. Um, the, the design on the neck which I put on there, not only is it just cosmetic, it actually helps me find myself um, when I'm playing on the neck because I can look down and I know that whereabouts I am by where the bumps are on the neck. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to be using it for the next lesson on tapping and uh, you can hear it and see it then.